Stage two locks load complete. And there's the call that stage two locks load is Dragon complete. Dragon is an auto idle. Falcon is now fully loaded with all of its propellants. Yes, Closeout will begin shortly. Expect loud venting. Announcement to let the crew know that as we vent off various lines on the uh, launch pad, we'll hear some loud noises. Let the crew know that's planned. We're also right now draining the liquid oxygen out of the transporter erector, draining the lines, getting ready for launch. Waiting for the startup call at T minus one minute. Commander call it 30 down. seconds. Punch it, SpaceX. T minus 15 seconds. Vehicles pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds. Callouts indicate nominal. The Spark mission flying the Inspiration 4 crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Great deal with the crew in the capsule. We're into the throttle down, into the throttle bucket. Stage one throttle down. Throttling down. Throttling down in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. A minute in the flight. Nine is supersonic. Stage one, throttle up. We're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Copy, We're throttled one back up and one Bravo, the call out from space. That's one of the abort sequences. That is a nominal call. Everything continues to be good. Looks like a smooth ride for the crew. Acceleration. Everything continues to look nominal. Merlin hey, engines are throttling down for G limiting. Four G's. So we're holding it there for the crew. Major event coming up will be main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation. Looking at the second stage engine nozzle and an ignition of the second stage. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Engine. 
Uh, I'm sure the crew felt another kick in the G's there as it ignited. Officially, the Inspiration4 crew are now on their way to space. First stage booster there on the left-hand side of your screen is making its uh, way back down to Earth. The grid fins have popped out to assist with the steering. It will be making a landing attempt on our drone ship. Just read the instructions, uh, which is parked out uh, in holding position in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, so we have a couple of views on Acquisition screen. Acquisition signal, Bermuda. Uh, as Kate mentioned, the left-hand side is a view from the top of our first stage looking down. That has already separated from the second stage and it's making its way back to Earth. The velocity of the first Dragon stage SpaceX trajectory nominal. is being tracked on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. On the right-hand side of your screen is a view of our second stage Merlin vacuum engine. On the opposite end of the, that engine is the second stage and the crew, which sits on top of the second stage. Everything looks to be going normal, uh, <laughs> normally uh, with them. Um, and you can also track the velocity on the second stage on the bottom right-hand side of your screen. And we also have awesome views of the crew inside of their capsule as well. I'm pretty sure during first stage ascent, I saw Dr. Okay, Cyan Proctor. Nominal. I'm pretty sure I saw Dr. Cyan Proctor give us a, two thumbs up. <laughs> yep. I'm sure she enjoyed this ride that she's been waiting for her entire life. Yes. Uh, um, one notable thing, too, is we're getting some twilight views. Um, the sun just set in Florida, but we're high enough um, uh, up where uh, the light around the horizon is also reflecting off of very high altitude objects, such as the first and second stages. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Love to hear that call out, trajectory nominal from the guidance Thanks, engineer. Sir. Also notice we're really up there now, well past 100 kilometers. Acquisition of signal, New Hampshire. Just before that view switched, we saw some uh, teammate fist bumps going on there inside <laughs> of the cabin. <laughs> Yeah, they look like they're having a fun ride there. Um, and their journey isn't over. We've got about seven more minutes until uh, Dragon separates from the second stage. Yes, uh, next milestone for this mission is actually going to be happening on the first stage. Um, it's going to be performing a re-entry burn that's going to be coming up around the T plus seven minute and um, 30 second mark. Uh, that burn is used to slow down the first stage before it re-enters the denser parts of the atmosphere. Um, a few minutes later, it will execute a landing burn and make an attempt to land on our drone ship that's currently parked in the Atlantic Ocean. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Dragon copies. So Brothers. far, sorry. I'm just going to say, so far, everything looking great for the Inspiration 4 crew hearing that everything is proceeding nominally there with the second stage, which is what you see on the right-hand side. That it, proportion nominal. I was just going to say that MVAC engine uh, we just heard now is looking nominal. About a minute left to go before the first stage performs its uh, first burn. And on your left-hand side, looking at the first stage, you may see uh, those white puffs. Um, those are the nitrogen puffs uh, helping to steer and guide a vehicle, basically. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Basically is the attitude control. For the vehicle as it makes its way back down to Earth. There's the crew on the right-hand side of your screen. I think I see some more thumbs up there. <laughs> Dr. Proctor is clearly excited that she's finally in space. Uh, again, this mission will be orbiting Earth for three days, uh, and they will be at an altitude of 575 kilometers, which, if I remember correctly, John I, you said that that is the distance from Los Angeles to the Golden Gate Bridge. There you go. <laughs> They're going to get there a lot faster. Those two FTS is saved. Right now. So what you're seeing on screen on the left hand side is the entry burns, the first of two burns on the first stage. 
uh, again, this first stage has already separated from the second stage. So stage the first stage burn, is uh, making its way back to Earth, trying to land, and the second stage, everything is going well. It is headed into orbit with the crew on board. Actually, there on your screen, uh, you can see a sunrise horizon there uh, with planet Earth uh, just behind the glowing MVAC engine. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Call out stage two and terminal guidance. Uh, we're at the altitude. We're working the angular momentum we need to get into the right orbit. And if you're wondering, crew's pulling about three and a half Gs right now, less than they took on the first stage flight. So in about 15 seconds, we are expecting the... Copy, Shannon. We are expecting down. the impact to throttle down and cut off an event called second engine cutoff and then we'll wait for the confirmation of, of good orbit. At the same time, the first stage uh, will be uh, beginning its landing burn. And here we have the MVAC. We just saw that it um, shut Pico. off its engine. Stage one, landing burn start. All right, good news there. The nominal orbit insertion. That's amazing news for Inspiration 4 crew. Stage one landing is confirmed. Uh, SpaceX, launch escape system is designed. <laughs> and you can hear that excited <laughs> uh, We just heard from Jared um, thanking um, everyone for making this mission possible. Uh, the Dragon capsule and crew are in a nominal orbit. Uh, in a few minutes here, we'll begin opening that Oh, excuse me. In a few minutes here, we'll separate from the second stage. And then shortly after that, we'll begin opening that nose cone. Uh, at the same time, we landed our first stage on the drone ship, as which is super exciting. As if the second stage action wasn't exciting enough. Right. <laughs> So there's that MVAC engine, like we mentioned before, it has already shut down uh, in an event known as second engine cutoff. And the crew are now gliding, if you will. Now one thing right now is we're coming up uh, just uh, under 11 minutes in the flight. We're waiting another minute and a half or so before we get into uh, the separation sequence. We're, the second stage is going through a series of events where we make sure that Gases are all pushed out of the system. There aren't any what they call disturbance torques. We want to make sure that the second stage is very stable. It's quiet. It's not moving around. It's not doing anything. So we give it a few minutes to actually just vent everything down, then go into quiet mode. Then Dragon will send the command to separate itself from the Falcon 9. It'll be pushed away. Falcon 9 stays in orbit for a while till it eventually comes back to Earth. And then Dragon moves on its way. Yeah, John, you talked about the, the terminal count earlier um, today, and this is almost similar to that. It's like another check before the next thing, before the next event that happens. The beauty of the countdown. <laughs> hey, we're about 30 seconds away from uh, separation of Dragon from the second stage. The view on the left-hand side of the screen is a view of the unpressurized section of Dragon. So it's the sort of back end, the trunk section of the Dragon. So when we do see separation, we'll see that kind of push away from the second stage and uh, make its way into orbit. Once again, the Inspiration4 has lifted off from pad 39A. Um, they are now in orbit uh, around Earth and where you can see on your screen, Dragon separation confirmed. So that is the Dragon Trunk and Dragon on the left of the Falcon 19. We gave you a great ride to orbit, enjoy your time on orbit, and we look forward to flying again with SpaceX. And copy that, Gers. We really appreciate everyone's help back in um, LCC. That was the voice of SpaceX Chief Engineer, Chief Engineer Bill Gersten-Mayer communicating with Inspiration4 Commander Jared Isaacman.